Welcome back. In this video, we will look at how to create tasks, set start dates, and we will also cover task score and see how task hiding really works. Also, we will look at tasks mode and how that works. So let's jump straight into it. In AmpleNote, a task can only live inside a node meaning you cannot have floating lists of tasks that do not correspond to a node. And of course, because jots are nodes as well, tasks can also live inside jots. So let's look at how to create a new task. Just like with any other type of node content that you can create, there are four options for inserting a new task. You can use the keyboard shortcut Command-Enter or Control-Enter. Note that you have to press this twice, once to create a bullet list item and then a second time to convert it into a task. Number two, you can use the markdown syntax, which is open square bracket, closed square bracket, followed by a space. Number three, you can insert a task using the slash command menu by typing forward slash and the words task list. And finally, you can use the toolbar button, visible when editing an individual node, or the one in the floating toolbar that appears when you select any compatible text. Note that AmpleNote lets you create tasks even when you are not editing a node. We will cover all of the task capture methods in another video. In AmpleNote, if I want to go beyond the simple to-do list and also plan when something should happen, I can use start dates. For example, I can expand the task details for this particular task and select a start date for later today. That's pretty good. But my task looks slightly different now. I can see a different color applied to it and it seems like this number, signifying the task score, also changed. So what happened here? In AmpleNote, every task is assigned a number called the task score. Task score is higher for tasks that start today. The other thing that influences task score is the priority that you assign to it. By expanding the task details, I can determine whether a task is important, urgent, or both, and this will increase the task score accordingly. Another factor that influences task score is its duration. Like start date and priority, task duration can be edited when you expand the task details. But to get some more practice with the slash command menu, let's use that instead. I will type in forward slash, followed by the word duration, and choose 15 minutes. Notice the color of the task changing. The best way to view your to-do list is in Tasks mode. Tasks mode collects all of your tasks from all of your notes and displays them in this list. This means that you don't have to go looking through potentially hundreds of notes to sort your tasks and plan your day. Tasks mode sorts your to-do list by task score by default. This means that in this view, tasks that you considered important or urgent at some point as well as tasks that are due today, will appear closer to the top of the list. This makes tasks mode a great environment to make a plan, whether that is for the current day or for a larger scope, like a monthly or a quarterly plan. We can see the effects of task score sorting if we choose a task and mark it as urgent. I'm going to use the slash command menu again here to do that. When a task score changes, it is pushed higher or lower up the list in its correct position relative to the competition. Another way to use tasks mode is to group your tasks by their scheduled start date. This turns the list into an agenda view where you can see your upcoming obligations as well as your unscheduled tasks. Let's see a more proper example by assigning a start date of tomorrow to a task, again by using the slash command. This creates another entry in my agenda for tomorrow. If I want to plan another task for tomorrow, 
I can also drag it and drop it in this section. Tasks in Ampleote are a way to mark that something is actionable and needs your attention at some point. If you want to plan when something should be worked on, you can use the start date property of a task. Also, for managing your long-term goals, you can employ the task score system to rank your ideas based on their subjective importance or urgency. And tasks mode brings together all of your ideas from your entire notebook, making it a great way to visualize the relative score of your tasks.